Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we are here with day 12 of 18 and if you've missed the first 11 days, a uh, quick recap is I am sun running. So currently up about 40k on the series, 6th on the leaderboard. Uh, today's event, a pretty big one here, it's the biggest buy-in left in the series for me. It's the $500 Super Tuesday High Roller. Uh, starting stack in this one is going to be 50,000 chips. So we open the 9s here off 18 bigs. Big blind defense. Um, all hearts here. You have nines, no heart will bet if he check raises. Probably just getting over pair, even though it doesn't feel great with over pair, no heart. Jams, all right. Has ace, eight, so we're 44%. We're actually a slight underdog here. We end up winning, so again, it's not a great spot. I think we're shallow enough that it's a call still um, with the chips that are in there. But again, not to us. We're hoping some there that he has just like some 7x. But you can see that's the problem there. He has like one over card with the ace of hearts and a gutter, <laughs> and we're just still behind. And that's like not even a bad case scenario. But I think given how short we are betting the one big blind on the flop, we just have to get it in. A Super Tuesday, we got kings over here. 37 bigs. Mostly three betting, I believe. All right, well, four bet jam. Strong formation. My jam's obviously going to look incredibly strong. Spoiler alert to them, it is strong, but kings is just a jam. Everybody folds quickly. Pick it up. Up to 47k, though, so that's a nice pickup. Uh, Jack-9 suit, I believe, this is a spot where I can be flatting button in MTT when I guess early positions, as long as we see folds to us. So I'm going to flat here. Cash, I'd probably just fold this against uh, undergun 1 if it was hypothetically 7-handed. Flop a 9, good start. 9-4, four, four, 2 hearts. Also flop the backdoor flush draw. Uh, if he checks, can go either way between bet and check if he bets simply just to call. Uh, turn the nine, nice. Uh, if he bets, I'm probably gonna go small, and then river. I would imagine some big sizes. So this way, I can kind of stunt with like pocket five, sixes, seven, some. I'm gonna go third. Maybe it could even be like quarter. So I only really go huge. I think if hearts miss. Ooh, ace river. I actually don't know if I go big on the ace. I think what size I even use. I'm gonna go half here to coffee jams. I actually don't know what size to use. He snap calls were good. And maybe he can still jam. He had ace queen, so he might have called that one. I was, yeah, I'm just not sure there on the size because like he has. I maybe I'm supposed to just like two x rip it there still because I'm repping the nine and like obviously we can lose aces full, but it's just you know one hand. I'm just trying to think as far as my bluffs there. It's kind of nice where I can go small with Miss Hearts, whereas by 2x GM, I probably don't want to use the Hearts too much, and I just don't have many other bluffs. So then that way I can sell my bluffs. I don't know. It might have been a spot I was supposed to 2x it there. And again, if I bet, I'm not sure if it's like half pot or 2x there. So open ace jack, small blind flats here, ace 10 7. Go ahead and bet. Uh, spade turn a lot of checking on a spade here. Five river. So the river is kind of interesting because he flats even like ace nine suit. I don't know that he calls on the spade if I take this line. I'm actually probably leaning towards check and if he bets small just to call really quickly. Get her ace four. Open and off 27. All right, so king eight here. Very bad for my range versus the blind, so I'm just going to do tons of checking, even though my hand's not terrible flop here. Four on the turn. Um, I'm trying to think if I start betting turn or not. Probably. All right, against the big bet, I think the open ender still calls here, and then has to bluff rivers on checks quite, quite often. This one's interesting, though. It's actually river a little something. I try to get the 9x and two pairs of fold. I think because clubs miss, I just go check, check. He bets we're going to fold. I definitely can have a decent amount of 10x here is played, so I don't think you can just go crazy on this one. I do think it's a good spot for him to turn his clubs into bluffs. Uh, so when he goes small, the question is, do I now bluff? <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't know. I can even call, maybe. I'm just going to full river. It's actually maybe not a terrible spot to bluff. Uh, let's go over to the 500 high roller. We got eights. All right, so you see cutoff open here. 21 blinds on the high roller. Easy jam. Oh, nines, that's not good. Oh, eights into nines. 
And we're beyond two bullet two in the high roller, unfortunately. Rented car in the high roller jamming. It's 10 blinds, I think we call ace eight. Close, probably. <laughs> you want action? I mean, obviously, I want to fold at this point. <laughs> obviously, I want to fold. Only 0.8 blinds behind. All right, three is flipping. Flop the eight. He flops a set, though. I was like, how do I only have 3%? I flopped an eight. That would be why. All right, so lose that one. All right, YouTube, so we are post late reg here in the $500 Super Tuesday. 50K starting stack. We're in for two bullets. Only have 40% of his starting stack. Super short here, five blinds. Uh, quick look at the payouts before we potentially bust here. So first place, 18881 69 of 206 remain. Min cash in 31st is at least $1,039. And we are going to be all in right now. And take it down. Big pickup for us whenever this short. All right, easy jam. King 8 suited, 7.4 blinds. Run to stream Jay Tizzle in the big blind folds. Just over five blinds here in the cutoff in the 500 high roller. We're going to jam. Picking up 12K without showdown would be huge. We do get called King 10. Come on. Win virtual flip. Nice. Whew, get the first double. 11 big, just going to be a jam. All right, all in against Jay Tizzle. Can we get two straight doubles? Show me tens or nines, Jay Tizzle. Ace 10 hold. Yes, let's go. Two straight doubles in the high roller. Jay Tizzle all in for seven. Button rejams 28. Getting in 21 with tens, guys. This is close, but it's in. Ace King, come on. Yes, let's go. We have just spun the stack in the high roller, running good on all ins. 262. So Jay Drisco opening under the gun off about 23. Just going to flat button here. If it goes big blind jam, Jay Drisco fold, we have to call this. So with how much money it'd be in there. Yeah, so if Jay Drisco calls, we have an easy fold. But if he folds, we're calling 59 to win 103. Oh, Ace Jack, not a hand we want to see. And unfortunately, lose that one. Like I said, with how much money's in there, though, like even if he has like 10s, 9s, 8s, like all those, being a reasonable price. So open off 29 blinds here. King 2-2. Two, two. Uh, two twos there. We're going to check. They just have way more 2x than me. Three on the turn. Turn bets, even if it's bigger size, I do plan on calling here. If they check, we check. Uh, not a good river. I think a lot of times people will bet their hearts, though, so I'm not actually worried about much hearts. I'm still kind of tempted to call ace nine here, and I'm not as worried about the fact that I don't have a heart. So, as played, I think going to call this. I'm not even sure that he's going to bet the eight on the river. He might. Again, hearts coming in up, it's not as big of a concern, I don't think. Sometimes they still check raise it, but all here has King Jack. Who's that one? Again, no one's super short, so I think I'm still gonna be pretty aggressive with this one. And jam this here. If this is direct bubble, I would probably fold, I think, two off the money in a shorter field. I'm gonna jam here as long as button doesn't three bet. Yeah, at them calling, I'm just we're going for this. Oh, come on, Ace Jack. Folds would be great. I do you think they're gonna call a bit tighter in this situation against me? I'd probably fold ace 10. Ace jack gets in. Oh boy, we're in trouble maybe. We're at risk at least. Ace king, need a jack. Need a jack. All right, no cash in the high roller. Two off the money, that's kind of frustrating. You guys let me know there with ace jack. I think okay, two off the money, maybe directly on the bubble we don't, but. All right, YouTube, that's the end of day 12 of US Coop here, and unfortunately a losing day for us. So you saw a soft bubble, the $500 high roller. Um, total results today, 1,903 in buy-ins, and cash is a 573, minus 1,329. Not a winning day, but with how good this series has gone, I don't think there's anything that can get me down the rest of this series. So hope you guys are going to continue to enjoy the content series. If you are, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.